Do you want to know how to kill your eBay business in three easy steps? Stay tuned in this video. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to ruin my business. What's going on guys? My name is Sebastian. This is Resell Junkie. If you're new here, my wife and I, we sell you stuff online and we teach others how to do it. When it comes to teaching, I am probably the most honest person in the world, maybe to a fault sometimes. Some people don't appreciate my honesty, whereas some people love it and they wanna hear these crazy things. So today we're gonna to be super honest with you. We have sold over $300,000 worth of stuff on eBay in the past several years. And this month has literally been like the death of our eBay business. There's three main reasons as to why our sales have slumped. And when I say slumped, I mean slumped. Like I think we've sold like $100 worth of stuff this week. It's really kind of scary. Like I think we've only done four grand in sales in the past like 30 days and it just keeps dropping and dropping. There's been several days this week where we haven't had a single sale. So let's just talk about it. Let's get into it and let's try to help you avoid these things. By the way, if you're new here, you wanna subscribe, do all that stuff, make sure you hit the link below, hit the little bell notification, and then you'll be notified of all of our future failures and successes. Let's become best friends. Reason number one why our eBay business is failing right now. This is probably gonna be the most critical reason, so pay attention. I haven't done anything. I have like neglected our eBay business for the past several weeks. If you guys don't know what's going on, my wife Cheyenne and I and our little boy Oliver have moved into a hotel room. Crazy story, it was supposed to be a camper van but that kind of fell through because of several different issues. But long story short, the past several weeks have been insane from moving to just getting everything shipped over to eBliss and just figuring everything out. I have neglected my eBay business. I haven't been sourcing, I haven't been listing, and I haven't like done really anything eBay related. You should always be doing something pertaining to your eBay business, whether it's sourcing or listing or whatnot, like just trying to grow it in some sort of way. I haven't done that, again, because of all these things that have been going on, I've been way more prioritized on different aspects of life. You know, I just let it slip away from me. Now, we're gonna get back into the groove of things. Actually, after I shoot this video, I have a bunch of things to get listed. And if you wanna stay tuned for next week, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually photograph and list things in a hotel room. So that should be a fun video. All that being said, when you neglect your eBay business or any business, it's gonna crumble. You're gonna fall through the cracks and you're gonna have issues. I'm very aware of what has happened. I'm very aware that I've been neglectful and maybe lazy and not in the swing of things. And again, life has grabbed us. There's been a lot of things going on that are a little bit more important than me going thrifting and listing and doing things, which sucks and the money uh, being lost really, really sucks. But luckily we do have multiple sources of income, which is something that I really preach to you guys. Only having eBay right now, we would be really, really hurting. And I'd probably be selling this camera that I'm recording with right now. It's like guys, multiple streams of income will save your life. Just please, 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 if you take anything from this video, just start thinking of other ways to make money online rather than just being a reseller. You're more than that, you can do more than that. There's plenty of other ways to monetize your knowledge and your passions. So just remember that, but moving into point number two. It kind of relates to point number one. I put my store on vacation mode for quite a bit. It was like over a week or so while we were doing this transition and that definitely impacted my sales. Now, if you guys don't know, we did partner with eBliss Reseller Solutions. They're gonna be fulfilling our stuff while we're on the road. Now, this has nothing really to do with them. I put my store on vacation mode because of everything kind of being backed up. I had this master plan to ship everything to them at once. And because of things that happened in our apartment with our lease and with this van falling through, things got really, really backed up. So I needed a little bit more time. So I put my store on vacation mode and the sales really dropped off. Um, I mean, I definitely saw a decrease in that. People, when they buy stuff online, they obviously pretty much all want it really, really fast. And when they see like a week lead time on something, it really does make you lose sales, especially when it comes to clothing where they're a little bit more like maybe emotional buys or they have an event coming up or whatever the reason may be. Vacation mode definitely impacted our sales. Reason number three and another big one. I think number one and number three are gonna be the biggest reasons as to why our business is crumbling right now. So before we left our warehouse, I got rid of a ton of inventory. When I say a ton, I mean like 
probably about 300 pieces of stuff. It's kind of crazy even just saying that, but a lot of those things were dead inventory. There are things that didn't sell. I mean, there was items in there that I've had for over a year. So I'm like, I'm not gonna ship this to eBliss, pay storage fees on something that hasn't sold in over a year just to maybe sell it later on in another year or two. I'm just not gonna do that. I wanted to start this business pretty much over. I left our store with about 260 pieces of inventory, but another big problem with that is a lot of that inventory was definitely more winter-ish related. Now that we're moving into spring, I need to start buying more shorts, more board shorts, more polos, more t-shirts, things like that. Things change with clothing. Obviously in the winter time, people are gonna be buying coats. In the springtime, maybe not as many coats. Maybe if it's a raincoat or something, but you get my point. The inventory we have now is not ideal for this transitional period, but again, I have a plan to go buy more, and this is something I really always preach to you guys. Have a lot of listings. Don't have a bunch of garbage listings, but have a lot of good listings because that does impact your sales. Having more hooks in the ocean will catch you more fish. That's how you need to think of your inventory, guys. It's a big deal. This is a numbers game. The fact that I only have 200 something listings now is really impacting my store, especially when it comes to used clothing. This is all a volume game. I can't just afford to sell one thing a day. I need to sell between five and 10 things a day just to kind of stay afloat. We're not doing that right now, which really sucks. And again, it comes from my quality of inventory and the quantity of my inventory. So just take note of that. Please focus on what you have in stock. Please buy according to seasons and get prepared before the next season comes around. Those are my three reasons, but I wanna end this video by saying like, don't be scared. My eBay business isn't just gonna like close up overnight. I'm not giving up. I'm not stopping on eBay. I'm still gonna be an eBay seller. It's just something I wanted to talk to you guys about. So hopefully you avoid this issue that I'm having right now. I know this is just a temporary thing. I just need to pay more attention. I need to get the work done. I need to do the listings, but I'm sitting here making videos for you guys. So, you know, that's probably my, my issue right now. I'm getting a little distracted. I have a lot of stuff going on, like I've mentioned. We have the sponsorship with eBliss. I'm creating content for you guys. I have other side projects going on. So it's like, everything is so busy right now and then we're crammed in this little hotel room it's been an experience i'm not gonna lie we'll make a whole video about the hotel uh, room experience here shortly as well but yeah it's been a interesting transition going from a big and beautiful townhome to a hilton our room's not awful or anything like that but still it's a huge mind shift change and honestly i'm glad that we didn't move straight into a camper van from our townhome we needed this little in between to kind of maybe get our sanity and our clarity back which i'm realizing now is really critical to this whole operation of us living in a tiny space together as a family being resellers creating content there's a lot of moving parts and i'm glad we have this kind of downtime to figure it out when i turn this camera off i promise you guys i am going to go get some photos done i'm going to make a video again getting distracted i'm going to make a video describing my process of photographing stuff in the hotel room so no one can make excuses about their location not being fit because i'm going to prove it to you you can do this from anywhere guys i hope this helps Please take your eBay business or any business you have seriously. Don't neglect it because it will hurt you. And again, please, please, please create multiple streams of income. That is the one thing I wanna tell you. Please, guys, if you just listen to anything, multiple streams of income are what gonna save your life. It is so critical, it is so important. But until next time, my name's Sebastian, cheers.